out of the blue, I got a call from my doctor. He said to me, Chris, you, you need to come in immediately. The only thing I could think to do in that moment was call my father. And I said to him, cancer's back. Worse than ever. It was gonna be stronger chemo. We're gonna have to basically destroy your bone marrow and rebuild it. Leahy called and said, we saw your blood work and we would like you to come back in tomorrow. And that's when I met Dr. Rabinowitz. And I remember him rolling his chair like right in front of me and telling me, um, you have leukemia. The Leahy Autologous Stem Cell Transplant Program started in 1996, so this is our 20th year. Having familiarity with the team members is vital to the success of the organization. The doctors, the nurses, the technicians that support the program have been with the program since its inception nearly 20 years ago. We're committed to providing outstanding, compassionate patient care. I had what's referred to as an autologous stem cell transplant, and that's where they take the blood stem cells out of your body. The cells are then frozen, cryopreserved for later use. And then give you very high dose, very strong chemo that ultimately ends up killing your bone marrow. The cells in the freezer are brought to the patient room, are thawed. And then they reinfuse those blood stem cells back into you, and it reestablishes your bone marrow. I'm amazed that uh, a patient goes from being very ill to 72 hours later may be able to be discharged to go home. Nothing better than uh, a nice, uh, have a little sunshine. I remember when Colleen was diagnosed, I actually got the call from my mother that she was already admitted to the hospital. I was thinking um, I always wanted to have children. You know, you just expect you're gonna get married, have kids. When Colleen realized that she wasn't going to be having her own children, I think it was something that she really struggled with. The thing that I needed help with and they really helped me with was we weren't talking about having kids and not having kids. We were talking about my life and not having my life. So I've known Dr. Rabinowitz for 14 years, and just from the first moment that I met him, I just knew that he was someone who I could really trust with my health and you know, with any care that I needed. The oncology nurses at Leahy, they're, they're truly a special breed. It goes so much beyond a job for them, just seeing how strong and knowledgeable and confident and compassionate they were. I just started to think to myself, what a wonderful thing to do. The nurses were absolutely an inspiration. So what does the rest of your day look like? I would have never thought the day I graduated nursing school that four years later I'd be working with oncology patients alongside so many nurses that took incredible care of me and inspired me to go on and become a nurse. It's rewarding to see him in his career helping other patients. It brings a smile to my face. People want to help. Yeah. People don't realize that. People around you, they want to help. Let them help. But you have to ask. You gotta, you gotta ask. Well, some people, <laughs> some people, yeah, exactly. They'll, they'll help you, but you make sure you tell them how you want them to help you. Right. It was extra special having you as a nurse because you'd been through it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, you know, gave, gave me a perspective through you that I didn't have. Colleen has really, in my opinion, been a second parent to her nephews. I live with my sister and my three nephews and it's fantastic. I'm a single mother of three boys, and I was divorced shortly after my third child was born. I've never experienced what it's like to have a father in the house. They love her so much. They'll bring family portraits home, and it's Mary Jo and me and the three of them. They ask me, so who's your parent? Is it me or is it them? I say, it's both of you. You're both my parent. The support that I get from her surviving is just more than I can ever say. She's very strong. She feels like she has meaning to be here. That's why she survived, and I agree with that. She's made a big impact on my life and who I am. I didn't end up having children, but I think that's because these boys needed me. And so I have these three boys, and they are like my children. This was a life-saving treatment for her but her being saved also saved me.
giving back to the patients now as a nurse is the most gratifying thing I've ever done. Every dollar spent supporting the stem cell program at Leahy is a dollar spent towards changing lives. Hi, thank you. You're doing great.